Hey, it's Miss Ashley, and I'm here to talk with you today about the legend of the Tangram. This is one of my favorite stories because we go back to ancient China, and we think about the story of the very, very old sage, a wise old man. He had but one important task, that was to carry a large sheet of glass to the king, who needed it for a window in his palace. The square piece of glass was wrapped up carefully in silk and canvas, and it was carried inside the sage's backpack. But the journey was long, and the sage crossed a desert and rivers. He traveled through forests and fields. He arrived at a rugged mountain range and climbed to the summit of a high, rocky peak. At the top of the mountain, he looked out into the distance and he glimpsed the palace that he was traveling to, pleased that he had almost arrived. He stumbled and tumbled down the side of the mountain. The glass was broken. When he finally met the king and he told the king of his journey, he admitted that the glass was now broken. The square glass was unwrapped from its silk and canvas case, and the sage was surprised to see that the glass actually had not shattered. It had broken and divided into seven different geometric shapes. The sage began to move the shapes around and he made images to describe his journey to the king. First, he showed the king his very own home. Then he told him about the camel he had seen in the desert. There was a boat he saw on the river as he crossed. And then there was the mountain range where he fell. If you notice, Every single one of these Tangram pictures depicts something in his story. This is of the sage as he's fallen. The king enjoyed these geometric shapes so much that he had his own set carved out of wood. And this is how Tangrams were invented. So you have the opportunity to use the sheet that we provided in the weekly work choices this week or you can take a simple piece of paper and make your own tangram set like this. All right, we're gonna make ourselves a set of tangrams with a single piece of paper and some scissors. The first thing you're going to do is you're gonna take your piece of paper and we're going to make a square. You are going to take one corner and you are gonna fold it down so that the edge lines up with the side. Press down to make a crease. And then you're going to notice there's a flap at the end. This end we're going to fold up and fold it over this way. And then we're going to unfold it off. What you're going to notice is you have two folds. You have a diagonal and a horizontal fold. We are going to cut along the horizontal fold and cut this piece right off. What's going to be left is a square. piece that we cut off you can use for any other art project but you can set it aside because this square piece is what we're going to use to build our tangrams. So now we're going to open it up and what we're going to do is we are going to cut along the fold that we made diagonal. We are cutting a square and you might want to make a prediction about what two shapes are created when we cut a square diagonally. And if you guessed that they were right obtuse triangles, you are correct. We're going to take one of our triangles and set it aside and work with our first one. The first one, what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. We're going to line up our corners the best we can, make a crease, and then we're going to open it back up. When we open it back up, what we're going to do is we are going to cut along this fold. And now we have two large squares. We're going to set these aside and we're going to look at our second obtuse right triangle. What we're going to do with this one is a little bit different. 
we're going to start by taking the top vertex and bring it down to the base. We're going to make a fold across like this and then open it back up. And we are going to cut this top triangle piece off. This is our third piece we're going to add with our other two triangles. Now, with what we have left is a trapezoid. What we're going to do is we are going to fold it in half to cut into two pieces. So you're going to take it corner to corner, edge to edge, open it up, and we're going to cut on that middle fold into two pieces. They look like a symmetrical mirror image of one another. So for the first one, what we're going to do is we are going to take the bottom corner and we are going to fold it up to the top. We're gonna unfold and cut our fold. And what we're gonna notice is that we have a parallelogram and we have a small triangle. These are two pieces we need. So we're gonna add those to our tangram set. And then we're going to take our last piece here. With our last piece here, we're going to fold it a little differently. We're going to take the long corner and we're going to fold it across to meet this corner. We're going to unfold and we're going to cut. In this case, what we're going to get is another small triangle and a square. Once we have these pieces, we lay them all out and you're going to see we have a complete tangram set. If this set is a little bigger than you want to work with, then all you need to do is start with a smaller square piece of paper and follow the same steps. Have fun! Alrighty, so here is a picture of my completed, what you just saw, that I made my complete tangram set. And every tangram set has the same shapes. So it's the same set of seven pieces that are perfectly sized. So whether you use the template we provided or make your own, now is the fun part. What you notice with a tangram set is that you will often notice that a shape is made by putting the pieces together. It does not show you where the pieces um, line up with one another. You can look on the internet and you can find some patterns that way, but in that case it doesn't really require a lot of what we call critical thinking or high level thinking because then you're just matching. You can start with that if it feels more comfortable and then advance to these um, tangram shapes. So this is a cat. Here is a dolphin or a whale or some type of fish. Maybe even airplane an arrow, giraffe. So one of the things you're going to realize about tangrams is anytime you are making a picture, you need to use all seven pieces and they cannot overlap. They have to be lined up. So good luck, have fun, and you can always create your own tangram shapes to share with other people. Bye.